In today's video, I assembled a team of players that have double initials. All the best players whose first letter of their first name and first letter of their last name are the same are on this team. Starting with our quarterback, Tua Tungavailoa, having himself an incredible season. I'm hyped to see what this team could do with him. Backups, we have Marcus Mariota and Tyrod Taylor. Josh Jacobs just had a walk-off game winner a couple weeks ago, man. The dude is absolutely unbelievable. He's our RB number one. Backing him up is Ezekiel Elliott and Justin Jackson. At fullback, we have Seaton Carter, Justin Jefferson, our wide receiver number one. Then we have Sterling Shepard, Jerry Judy, Julio, Chase Claypool, and Devin DuVernay. Tight end, we have Hunter Henry, Evan Ingram, and Hayden Hurst. O-line, we have Deion Dawkins, Charles Cross from Seattle, Jonah Jackson, Mitch Morse, Mike McGlinchey, and Trey Turner, and then Ryan Ramchek. Over 70% of you guys watching the videos have not hit that subscribe button. Please go ahead and hit it. It's free. It takes two seconds, and you can always unsubscribe later. Those of you watching still and have not subscribed, man, let me just say that burns. Brian is our starting left end. Floronso Farcasi at backup left end. Right end, we have the veteran, Calais Campbell. D-Tech, we have Vita Vea and Eric Armstead. We have Odafe Away at left out. Matt Milano and Baron Browning at right out. Josie Jewell. Demario Davis, one of the best MLBs in the league. At CB, we have JC Jags, Patrick Peterson, Jonathan Jones, Jalon Johnson, and Nick Needham. John Johnson the third at free safety safety along with Andrew Adams and it's kind of unfortunate to see what has happened to Mr. Mayfield man the Panthers are expected to cut Baker Buddha is gonna be our strong safety number one Adrian Amos and Marcus May is some solid debt Tommy Townsend at punter kicker we have Graham Gano 86 overall not the best theme team we've seen but not the worst I mean their offense is lacking a little bit because they didn't give some of my guys abilities like Tua Jacobs I mean some of these guys deserve some some abilities but it is what it is defense plenty of guys have abilities man they should be able to help us get to the playoffs at the very least they end up 15 and 2 dominating the AFC East and look at the team rankings man second in offensive points per game second in defensive points per game taking a look at the team schedule they started off with a nice winning streak first L came in week 7 against Pittsburgh and then the second L was against the Packers but they still ended up with the one seed in the AFC Tua with a 4,700 yard season, 42 tutties, only 13 interceptions, 101 yards per game for Josh Jacobs, 1,700 yards on the season, 17 touchdowns, Zeke was a very solid running back number two, 4.7 yards per carry. Run game is looking amazing. Passing game is looking amazing. Jay Jettas, 1,284 yards to lead the team. He was second in receptions, but first in receiving touchdowns. Sterling had the most receptions. He also had a 1,000-yard season. Judy was 90 yards short of a 1,000-yard season, 10 receiving touchdowns. Henry and Jacobs both have four plus. Demario, of course, led us in tackling. Pat Pete at number two, 15 and a half sacks for Brian Burns, 10 for Adafe. Vita Vey came in third with seven and a half we had three interceptions from Buda Baker two from Peterson and Amos 20 tackles for a loss for Vita Vea to lead the team three other guys were in double figures Tom Brady takes home the MVP Tua ends up in the top 10 that's all we can ask for OPOI goes to JT Jacobs ends up third Jay Jettas ends up ninth DPOI we have Burns in the top three best QB Tua was second best running back Jacobs ends up third best wide receiver Jay Jettas ends up third. Are we going to win an award? Sterling ends up in the top 10. Best O-lineman, we had nobody. D-line, we had Burns ending up in the top three. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I appreciate the recognition, but give us an award. We went 15 and 2. Our division round matchup is the Cleveland Browns, who have a one overall better offense. Even though their pass defense is a little lackluster, maybe Tua could take advantage of that. I don't know how many of those games they started off with a deficit, but hopefully they can continue this momentum heading in the half number two 14 to 7 ball game and we're holding on for dear life second down and four the one who should not be massaged <laughs> is that quarterback for the browns he's throwing the laser three interceptions for deshaun unbelievable
unbelievable how we're only up seven like we should be dominating this game it's a travesty that is still this close can we make it number four on this third down and six that's a little bit of a weird stance right there by our uh i guess that's a right outside linebacker i've never seen that one before but can it work it it, it worked enough to help us get the incompletion fourth down coming up to a tongue of Iloa in his dolphins uniforms man they look good niners look good too unfortunate what happened to their quarterback man that was low-key shaping up to be one of the better games with everyone at full strength and it still ended up being pretty good but when wilder went out jimmy g went out i mean there's so many injuries injuries are really the worst they, they really are man first down for tua all we have to do is get a few first downs and this game is ours hopefully they start chewing clock i need to see that awareness nice run up the gut keep feeding the ball to jacobs why are we passing why are we passing when miles garrett is on the other team he forces us to throw an interception and now they're back in business watson once again good protection he's gonna throw it and find a wide open guy inside the red zone three man rush this time watson throws a pick we had everyone in coverage and john johnson gets the huge int third and nine one timeout left for the browns it's the game we get this first it's over let's see what two is able to do oh god what a bullet tua taking us into the conference championship let's go man tua with not the best game but good enough played better than watson zero touchdowns four picks like the defense was dominant jacobs was dominant that's a formula for success in the playoffs four teams left the double initials have to take on jt and the colts now this is another team i don't think we took anyone of note from so they're full strength matty ice is turned back the clock to the falcon days but will it be enough they're down 21 to 7 at the start of half number two make it 24 to 7 this one ended up not being as close as the last one man the team of double initials is headed to the super bowl two with a master class four touchdowns no picks 135.3 pass rate man he was monstrous jacobs 71 yards jt was held kind of in check i mean they got down early they could not run the ball but look at sterling and jay jettis unbelievable duel right there man one pick for john johnson buddha baker and pat pete also a sack for burns vita and calais i'm telling you man this could have been the super it, it still could be the super bowl matchup like niners fans i know it looks bleak but this is how i was feeling when wentz got injured years ago and Foles came in i had no idea what was about to happen i'm not saying it's gonna happen i'm just saying don't give up come on man let me let me get one drive it's the super bowl i didn't play one drive all season i'm gonna be criticizing them in a little bit the least i could do is uh see what it feels like you know what i'm saying just to see how hard it is to move against them now there's a flag refs what are we doing that's the weakest softest penalty i've ever seen the refs in real life have been terrible so i guess this is realistic i mean what was that he barely touched them when he was out of bounds hey man it's the super bowl though so i'm gonna accept it but i'm not am i happy about it maybe all right first and ten here we go okay Okay, to a first pass first completion but make no mistake about it even though they have warner bosa all these studs on defense this is a running team we have zeke we have jacobs we have a really good o-line we are gonna pound the rock jacobs is trucking folks time to pound this rock in for the touchdown great blocks great drive 7-0 ball game third down and four another chance to get off of the field let's see what we're able to do watch kittle and watch debo how do we not cover him tie ball game all right so the super bowl starts off with a bang man they end up taking a lead wow 21 to 7 oh no it cannot end like this 28 to 7 to a please hey i try to get us off to a decent start 7 to 7 maybe if i didn't give up a touchdown on the first drive it would be a lot closer the team of double initials made it all the way to the super bowl could not get the w man niners fans hopefully this makes you feel better thanks for watching the video subscribe if you're new destroy the like button can we get the 2000 likes i think we can do that okay also have yourself a good rest of your day and i'll see you on the next one third and i can hit the jackpot he don't want to catch a phase i'm a really getting black doc he ain't really about that life better breathe for you fat bop steady rocking with the stripes i'm a really getting checked. everybody getting chased everybody getting bass will it end will it last better cars going fast please don't say you want to be friends in my dreams we play pretend